Hello folks and welcome to the pod. Uh, today we're looking at the One Piece uh, live action review. Eight episodes came out and uh, we took, we, I did a marathon of watching it. I did a whole marathon. It, it seemed like it was going to be a great time for me to watch it. Uh, I tried to do a live marathon where I watched the show and uh, reacted to it live, but uh, due to some network complications, I only managed to stream four hours. That means like four episodes, and somehow the stream stopped. And on OBS, everything seemed to be fine and working. I don't know why I didn't check out the other aspect of the pod. I mean, the, the YouTube aspect of it. I don't know why I didn't even have the comment section pulled up, so I didn't see everything. Everything seemed well and working on OBS so I just kept it pushing and moving so I did a whole stream for eight hours where I watched uh, one piece I have a whole recording of eight hours at first I thought of just trumming it down and making it a full episode but I decided not to do that because oh man that would be a lot of work editing eight hours worth of content is a lot of work and there are moments where I didn't speak at all I was just enjoying it all but it would be great to release that one po at one point. So I'm going to work on that and maybe cr try to crumb it down into an hour and then upload it. I don't know when I'm going to do that. But uh, let's start the pod. So this is an official review of the show after eight episodes. So this is going to go on the audio platform. The live stream, of course, was on YouTube. So it was not going to be on other uh, podcast uh, audio distribution sites that I distribute my podcast on. So this will be on everything. And of course, it will also be on YouTube. So let me start with the intro and then we will kick off with the show. Hoo-ya! Hoo-ya! You are now listening to an episode of the Let's Netflix and Chill podcast hosted by Reese Chanson. Netflix and Chill podcast. I am your host, Reese Chanson, and of course, today we are going to be talking about One Piece. Uh, the show popped out yesterday, and um, it was a great show. I took, I watched it from like two uh, p.m. to close to ten p.m. straight, non-stop watching. Of course, I took breaks, like two, three, four minute breaks. Uh, I ate on camera. I was living on camera, basically. So it was interesting. Eight episodes. I've got the list of the episode names. Episode one, which was an hour and four minutes long, was called Romance Dawn, where it talked about Luffy and his, uh, his journey to becoming a pirate. Uh, Shanks was introduced and uh, we sort of developed. Shanks was introduced. It had a back backstory of everybody. It's life, anyway, the way the show was designed, so it was great. Of course, the show did stop with four members joining the ranks. We we got to see Nami, we got to see Zoro, his first mate, we got to see Usopp. So that was we got to see Sanji, and that was all the all the characters that were found in the East Blue. Now we're gonna go to Grand Line. That's gonna be in second season if it's coming out. I hope it's coming out because the show itself is amazing. Like the set. The set design, incredible. Money well spent, in my personal opinion. So kudos to Netflix on that regard. They spent money well. I thought they were going to bosh this like they did with Bleach uh, and all the other stuff they, 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 that they do. So they did well. I enjoyed it. Great. Of course, I've seen the show. I'm a fan of the show, like the anime show. So watching it, I, I started reminiscing on the first few arcs of the show. And, and, and they did almost every no, I don't think they did almost everything to the letter, except for things I'm not sure I remember happening. But it seems like everything happened the way it did. So they they, they, they just did like copy and paste in human form. Now this show could take a while to make, and these guys are gonna grow. So them growing is gonna mess up the whole arc of the thing because One Piece has been on for a long time. But they did a great job, personal opinion here. The show was uh, amazing. I loved it very much, and I, I think everyone's going to love it. Um, eight episodes, incredible. Episode two was called The Man in the Straw Hat, where we got to see Luffy uh, try to identify himself, where he met Kobe. Garp showed up. Uh, it was great stuff. 
Uh, he met Kobe. Of course, Admiral Grab, his grandfather, showed up on second episode. And then uh, the third episode, we met Usopp's friend, Kaya, who ends up giving them the going Mary. Uh, you know, Usopp joins the crew as a sharpshooter. You know, the, 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 the liar, the guy who tells stories. But the crew understands him, and it's great. Uh, what else? Yeah, it's a great show. And then the, the episode four is the pirates are coming where Usopp has always been known to be telling, you know, people, the pirates are coming, the pirates are coming. And when they finally come, no one believes them. And uh, yeah, the story is good. There's a scene with Claudio, the guy who uses his glasses like that, which was pretty cool with the fingers and as knives. Great, great aesthetics from the show, personally. And then uh, we moved on to... Uh, Episode 5, where we got to meet Sanji he, at the Baretti, where we met Old Man, uh, Sanji's mentor, um, Zephy, Zeph, not Zephy, Zeph, uh, the guy who, who ate his foot to save Sanji's life. This was like straight off the anime itself. Like, they did everything to the letter. Amazing. They fast forward some things, but they did everything to the letter. Th that was a great, 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 great site by Netflix. I'm really impressed. I really loved it. And and then we we, we get the, the... Luffy is such a nice guy. Even on the show, even on the anime. They did everything right, man. The walk, the stance, the, the costumes, the, the aesthetics of the characters. Now, of course, one thing I'm complaining about is Sanji's uh, eyebrows. They're not swirling up here. You know, like the way Sanji's does. And, of course, Sanji did the, the clowning. Oh, no! Way opens his club the hands like that, reaching th that happened around, around the last episode. I think it was like the Nami. He didn't say Nami because it's not Japanese, so because in Japanese, it'd be like, Nami son, no. and then Nami would always run to other people, not him, and he'd be disappointed. And uh, Zoro and um, Sanji's ultimate bro mans, where they seem like they hate each other but they love each other deep down, uh, kicked off early on, so which wasn't a great um great thing for me i enjoyed that and then we got introduced to the fish people fish men arlong shows up and on the show wherever arlong is they played an insane 808 beat and, and, and it was so trappy and so hip arlong was pretty cool in that regard they had a whole facial aesthetic and then there was this fish guy who was i forgot his name because i who, 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 who fired liquid like bullets who got killed by usopp uh he looked like a normal, regular human with botched up fucking lips. Just, nigga was like he was on botched or something. It was crazy. But the aesthetics of the fishmen, some of them were a bit off for me, but I understand. I understand. But they did a pretty good job based on comparison to the actual show draw design. So that was cool. And Nami did her signature thing where she cries and holds her face and he does this. But, of course, in the first original episode, the hand-drawing skills were horrible. But, of course, this was human. So, she did the thing where Luffy puts his hat on her head, you know, and goes to knock Arlong's ass up. So, that was cool. And I really loved the way uh, they made uh, the CGI effects on Luffy's rubbery skin. It was perfect. I was actually concerned about how uh, Zoro was going to manage to hold the third sword in his mouth. But, it worked pretty well. The guy must really have strong jaws. <laughs> so, and I like the fact that they kept everyone's hairstyle the way it is on the show. Like, people who had weird hairstyles, they kept it. They didn't They didn't try to do the Dragon Ball nonsense where they just took a white guy and, and put on some gel on his hair and didn't even bother making his hair all Dragon ball -y and shit. So, that was great by One Piece. They really spent their money well. They really took time. And well, like everything, uh, they even had uh, Captain Morgan, the guy with the jar, metal jar. Of course, I feel like the metal jar, they could have done a better job. But based on getting a jar that stuck on a man's face, uh, having his upper face move and his lower face not move. That was pretty impressive. They did a great job. They really did a great job. So I really love the show and I enjoyed it. And I hope Netflix will do another season. It was really great. Um, we didn't get to see any of the gears. We didn't. There was no fifth gear. There was no fourth gear. Luffy was just rediscovering his abilities. Just and, and we got some of the 
we got me we got uh Dracul Mihawk, we got Shanks, we got to see Usopp's dad, we got to see Buggy the Clown, so we got to see a lot of people. I, I really thought they would put Ace in this, but Ace is along the f along the further along the story, so it makes sense. Which begs the question, will they be season two and when is season two coming? Will be the season four, when is season four coming? When will they stop? Because personally, based on One Piece, the One Piece got a lot of material. It could take 30, 40 years to make the whole thing shebang. And these characters will grow. So I don't know how they're going to do that. But I think they can pull this off if they just start shooting every day for the next six years. And pray these guys don't grow up too fast. But it seems like they chose semi-adult characters except for the Luffy fella. They seem like they're characters that are... You know, they're not teenagers, so they might stay the way they look for a bit while longer. Because Sanji, Zoro, they look like grown men. Nami's a woman, so there isn't going to be much dramatic change into her body features. I'm concerned about the Luffy fella. He seems a bit young, so him looking young, he's going to probably develop. And then again, Yuf Luffy gets buffed up a bit as the show goes on, but not like too buffed. I would have loved to see... Luffy get all muscly and shit, but he did show him having that big balloon belly of his where he just deflects Garp. Uh, you know, Garp has an ability to throw, uh, um, what does he call, uh, large balls of, that, you know, grenade things launch. What do they call it? Whatever, that thing. A cannonball, yes, a cannonball uh, with his belly. And he was like, this is the first time I'm doing this. It's amazing. And I love the whole garb uh, with the whole helmet and shit. This whole, you know, dog thing, dog hat that he puts on. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Then the show was dope. Uh, yeah. Anyway, folks, uh, it's been a blast. Uh, enjoy the show. I hope I did the review justice. But if you had joined the marathon yesterday, you would have enjoyed it. But obviously it was cut short because of some, I don't know what the fuck happened. It was cut short. But I have eight hours worth of the video and audio backed up. So, I don't know if I'm going to have to edit that out or it's just going to take forever, bro. So, I might not even do anything with it. Or I, I, or I might just uh, premiere it. Yeah. Reload it the way it is. I don't know if that's a great idea, but eight hours is a long time. It might take a long time to upload. But I might actually do that. That, that would actually be a wise thing to do. Uh, anyway, uh... Yeah, folks, uh, it's been a blast. Let's hang out another time. You just uh, you just watched the review of One Piece with yours truly. I'm going to throw in the outro and we'll hang out another time, folks. Adios. Now that was entertaining. You just listened to an episode of the Let's Netflix and Chill podcast with Reese Jansen. With that being said, remember to support the podcast on Patreon. And let's hang out another time. Adios, folks. Adios.